Hey everyone, it's Amy Nakos. Thanks for joining me on the fourth quarter 2020 trends report. So I love that every year at the end of the year, we pull all the data from the Summit MLS and my amazing team at Your Castle pulls together this, this report, which is, it's absolutely fantastic. And you're gonna, I think you're going to agree as we go through this. Um, We've been crunching numbers at Your Castle Real Estate, and that's one of the reasons I joined this company because we've got really smart people with good data. And um, let's dive in. We represent a number of mountain markets in our company, and I represent Summit County. So we're just going to skip right down to the third section where you see Silverthorn through Breck. What this chart shows us is we're looking at 2019 versus 2020, and you can see what our average condo price is. That's in, um, you know, add three zeros, and that'll give you the number. Our price change from 19 to 20 in each submarket, and our months of inventory. And what I want to point out in this chart, which I've never seen before, is our really, really low months of inventory. In a balanced market, you'll see that there will be four to six months of inventory in Summit County. We don't even have one month of inventory. In Frisco, it's 0.1. That's three days. So that means if you are to put your property on the market, it will probably sell in three days. And that is absolutely what we are seeing in Frisco right now. So um, hot market with, with things moving quickly. What this chart shows us is average appreciation annually over uh, a period of time. It's whatever period of time we can pull from the MLS. Denver Metro from 92 to current experiences about a 5.7% annual appreciation. Summit County 7.3, that's jumped over the last few years. We were talking 6.8 for the last few years I've been doing this presentation. So uh, appreciation does definitely play into your holdings in, in real estate and the value. What I like about this historic market comparison here is this shows that if there is a downturn and if and when there is a downturn, how mountain markets, resort markets react compared to metro markets. So Denver market during the Great Recession bottomed out in 2008 and that's what we saw in many uh, metro markets. But you'll see that summit was as late as 2013. Now, this video isn't long enough for me to explain why. If you care to know why, I'm happy to talk you through it. But we bottomed out in 2013. Note that if there is a downturn in the market, um, we do tend to lag behind. We're going to now look at Summit County comparisons. What this chart does is it breaks down all of our markets in, in one chart. And this is probably the best chart to, to see um, overall and to compare our different markets. But here's the thing. Everybody's saying we don't have enough inventory. We don't have any inventory. There's nothing to sell. I'm going to say that that's not true. We sold much more property in 2020 than we did in 2019. The problem, or not the problem, but really the truth is that we had much higher demand so with that high level of demand, the inventory gets absorbed much more quickly. So things don't sit on the market and it seems like we don't have inventory, but you'll see overall in Summit, our sales, our number of units sold was up by 20% year over year. We also broke a record in 2020, $2 billion of sales in real estate. That uh, is somewhat unprecedented for our market. We've never hit that number before. $2 billion. If you look at uh, BRAC, you'll see that the average price stayed pretty even. That's just a mix of what sold. And Dylan with the number going down in units sold, 8% down, um, that is also just a matter of not as much inventory as in previous years without any new construction there. So if you have any questions on this or would like to watch the next video, which is going to take us through the individual markets, please move on. Otherwise, I'm happy to chat with you. I can be reached at 970-389-8388 or visit my website, amynakos.com.